An abundance of negative news surrounding China has put U.S. companies with exposure in focus. Seema Modi joining us now with more. Good morning, Seema. Good morning, Scott. Yeah, that's right. CEOs this earnings season have been really quick to point out the challenges they're facing in China. Intel CEO Pat Gelsinger saying the China market hasn't come back as strongly as people would have expected overall. Citigroup calling China, quote, the biggest disappointment. Industrial companies continue to struggle, of course, with slowing demand. Caterpillar expecting sales in China to be below its typical 5 to 10 percent range. And the thing here is that it hasn't been all bad news. Consumer facing names like Walmart seeing China sales in the second quarter increase 22 percent year over year, led by strength from Sam's Club and e-commerce. That's not convincing, though. Strategists at Evercore ISI, who over the weekend warn clients that as the economic backdrop worsens, S&P 500 companies with more than 20 percent revenue exposure in China could be at risk of seeing investors scale back their holdings. They point to names like Intel and Tesla. The street now awaiting results from NVIDIA, which, like many semiconductor companies, does business in China. And that upcoming BRICS summit later this week in Johannesburg, where President Xi is set to attend, and the economy, no doubt, will come up in conversation. Scott? All right. Seema, appreciate that.